Yeah, well, you think it would be all over then. That would be a great ending. But then, like, the next year, David Milch goes crazy and says, well, Jimmy Smith is dying. He's no longer going to be on the show. We'll make him die over six episodes. But when he actually dies, um, we're going to do a very special Jimmy Smith Dies episode. It was episode six of our season. So um, I said, great. Mark, when Mark and I were sitting there talking about who should direct once, you should direct Jimmy's last episode. And he said, yeah, I probably should. He's always exhausted. So Mark's assigned to do that, and I'm doing the next episode after that. But then it was decided that Rick Schroeder would come on and replace him, and he would join the, the squad in the next episode. And so Steven said, I think Mark should be there for Rick Schroeder. I want Mark to introduce Rick Schroeder. I want him to be the director, which means, Paris, you have to do Jimmy's last episode, which I did not want to do because I love Jimmy Smith, and I knew it was going to be a killer emotionally. And so I said, can I... Can I get out of this? Can I just switch? I mean, I'm going to be good with Ricky Schroeder, too. I know he's not Ricky anymore, but I could do, I could do that. So it was decided by Mr. Bochco that that's the way it would be. So I got what I thought was the short straw and it would be Jimmy Smith's final episode. Nick Root Wooten wrote the original draft of it. I cried my eyes out when I read it. It broke the form of the show quite a bit. He had a fantasy, his last few moments. He went back in time and... and he was hearing himself and his old teacher talking. He did all these strange things the show had never done before. And then David refined it, and I just said, I don't know if I can get through this. I mean, I don't know if I can get the crew through this. Everyone loved Jimmy Smith. You know? And we did the last days in the hospital when he actually died with the last couple of days of the shooting. And it was really, really hard. And each member of the crew had to come in and say goodbye to him. And I'm telling you, trying to get them not to be bawling was my major goal. And I'm sitting by the monitor. <laughs> I had to be moved to another room down in the faux hospital because they said, you're making too much noise, Paris. I said, no, I'm trying not to make noise and I'm not helping anybody. <laughs> and so just trying to contain the emotion was my biggest struggle in that whole thing. And we changed the style of the shooting of the show too. We didn't do the jiggly cam that episode. We said, you know what, we'll move a little bit, but let's just be still for a little bit. Let's just hang on, let's just watch this happen. This is a guy dying, this is like the last, this is the last hour of his life, is what this episode was. And David was adamant about saying, I don't want a television death. I want to take you through death. Just like when you die, when your parents die and you see them in the hospital, I want to present that in its unpleasantness and its, its truth. Oh, that made it quite challenging. So we bawled our eyes out, Jimmy died, and beautifully I might add, and then in one take, just as he looks up to Kim Delaney, uh, he, one tear just came out of his eye. His eyes were wide open. He looks up to her, and one tear falls out of his eye. We don't put it in there with, like, stuff or anything. It's just like he looked at her, one tear came out of his eye, and he closed his eye, and that's what's in the movie now. Um, it's the second to the last shot of the movie, and it kills you. And then I came up with the idea. I said, let's fade to white because I don't want to fade to black on Jimmy's death. And, you know, the show had never faded to white. It had always faded to black to show the credit of Stephen Bochco and David Miltz, the executive producer credit. And so we always agreed it'd be worth it. So as Jimmy lay there, it just... <sighs> to white, and the credits came up. And we're all like, <sighs> so exhausted. So actually, you know what? That was the year that uh, Hearts and Souls was up against the pilot of The Sopranos um, in terms of the Emmys, and, and Hearts and Souls won.